when an entrepreneur created something called Silk Road, a website where people use bitcoins to buy pretty much anything. Government investigators got upset. Investigators described it as a black market bazaar. Revenue for the site is estimated at $1.2 billion. Most of that money came from sales of illegal drugs, and that's why the government wanted it shut down, and they got it shut down, and they arrested the founders. Most Americans support that crackdown. 31-year-old Ross Ulbricht founded a drug-dealing website called Silk Road, where anyone, minors included, could buy narcotics and have them sent directly to their home. How nice. Mm -hmm. Federal judge here in Manhattan heard the case, eventually sentenced Mr. Ulbricht to life in prison without parole. So we applaud this judge. This is the judge who finally got it right. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We all agree here we on agree. that? Concur. Life in prison without parole? Yep. They're all happy. This guy should be locked up. But Naomi Brockwell of the Bitcoin Center says, no, Silk Road is a good thing. That is correct. How? A hundred percent. Well, it makes the streets a lot safer. So, um, I mean, when you, have, when you have prohibition, you're basically, is, it leads to violent gangs taking the place of what would otherwise be peaceful trade. Ross Ulbricht is an entrepreneur, an innovator who broke rules and basically did what the war on drugs hasn't achieved uh, in 40 years. He's made the streets safer. Is, is that not what the war on drugs is about? Or is it just about punishing people who take drugs? Well, the judge who's sentenced him to life says there's no way this could be experienced to reduce violence. It did great harm to the social fabric. She was incorrect and there have been lots of studies uh, that show that people who've used the site, they're six times less likely to encounter physical violence, five times less likely to have life, encounter life-threatening situations. Uh, they definitely made the streets a safer place and it's common sense because whenever you have prohibition of, of anything, you're basically replacing violence uh, with, with peaceful uh, trade and exchange. And also you had the reputation feedback from users. So the FBI tested the stuff that was being sold, the drugs, and said, ooh, this is unusually pure. It's not the usual poison we get. And that's correct. People don't know what they're getting when they buy it on the streets, and there's no system of accountability. And what Silk Road uh, provided was that system of accountability, sort of akin to eBay or Amazon, where you have re user reviews. So people actually knew what they were getting. So it made it safer for drug users as well. That same judge said to Ross Ulbricht, for those considering stepping into your shoes, they need to understand there will be very severe consequences. But it's sort of odd in that after they closed down Silk Road, other sites opened up and now there are more of them. Yeah. They keep shutting them down but there are more of these sites. And that's correct. And you've seen a 200% increase in the number of uh, online sales uh, for drugs. So they failed, and yet they still persist in these uh, policies that just don't work and just punish innovators. Now, Ulbricht also allegedly paid to have hits done on competitors, other people. Right, I've heard we're, those... We're against that. That rule breaking, we're <laughs> not okay with, Well, I've right? heard those uh, rumors uh, in the media. He was never indicted for murder, and there's yeah, a the reason for that. The prosecutors didn't actually charge him That's with correct. That. People are presumed innocent until they're found guilty. So the idea that we should be promoting Ross Ulbricht as a murderer when he's never been charged for murder seems like a crazy idea to me. All right, I assuming he didn't murder anyone or try to murder someone, what if his site sold not just drugs, but machine guns and explosives. You still okay with it? Those things were expressly forbidden on the site. That's why I think it's such a tragedy that he's been sentenced to life imprisonment. 